Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to get Face ID on older iOS devices. So to be able to get Face ID feature on older devices, like I'm having right now is iPhone 8 Plus, there's no Face ID with it. This feature you have to jailbreak your iOS device. In order to get it, you need to jailbreak it first. Because you have to install some tweaks from CD or Cilio to get the Face ID feature. So just go to CD here. So the tweak that gives you the Face ID feature is called Apple NC. You can see there are two choices. One is from Big Boss repo and the other one is from Hack Your iPhone. If you click on Apple NC from Big Boss, you can see it's unable to purchase. Unfortunately, it does not support iOS 12 yet. That's a problem, you see? It only support iOS 8. That's why we cannot use it. If it support iOS 12 already, then you don't have to add the pirated source. You just download it, just pay for it. It's $2, I think. Yeah, $2. Just buy it and be good to go. The problem is they don't update it yet. But with Hack Your iPhone repo, it has been updated to support iOS 11. And you say, if support iOS 11, what about 12? Yes, it also works with iOS 12. I already tested it, it just worked perfectly. So, just install it. It's about 3.5 megabytes. Click Restart Springboard. Okay, right here. So you go to it. I already add faces. Here, if you go to settings, tweaks, you will see Apple NC at the top. Just enable it. You go to settings. So one thing that's important. For settings, by default, this will be on. This is also on. So by default, in order to activate Face ID unlock feature with Apple NC, you have to swipe up like that and then it will scan your face you see and then recognize you will go to home screen again you have to swipe up so that it will use the camera at the top here to scan your face and then it will activate try again so you see my face you see recognized ID and then you go to home screen one more time again I don't touch the touch ID at the bottom here I just leave it like that the home button swipe up just wait for it and then you go to home screen it kind of slow but it works and that's the first one you don't want to do that this is what most people didn't tell you about apple nc if you wanted to just scan your face quickly and go to home screen without you having to swipe up all the time you just turn this one off you say only start on swipe turn it off and always start on swipe turn that off as well and then you respring it You can see, I don't do anything. I don't swipe or do whatever. I don't even use my finger to scan. Just recognize my face and go to home screen. It's kind of awesome, but it's slower. It's much slower than the, the one made by Apple. That one has sensor and everything. It's more expensive, but this is the best you can get. Try again. See, it take a while. One more time. It just work. So to get it to work, you need to go to Apple NC on your home screen. And you can see I have already added like 50 photos already, 50, 50 images. And see deny 42 times. When you scan, sometimes it does not recognize, it will deny and it will also take a photo. So again, if you do it the first time, you just click plus here. And you can put any name on it. Let's say test it. Click OK. You have a new one. They give you instruction, they say when the camera starts, move around to show different angles of your face. So make sure you sit somewhere where the light is enough so that it will take good pictures of your face. Each time it will take 5 photos. You click start here. Click OK. You see my face. Like so. So you keep doing so 
move your face around so that it would take most part of your face and then you're good to go. It will compare your face with the photos they have taken in here, stored in here. It will compare with it. If it is the same or similar, it will unlock your phone. And that's when the problem comes in. You see, when I tried this, I thought it works like Face ID on iPhone 10, but it's not. I tried to use my face to scan it, it works. You see, people say the more you add photos or the more you take photo of your face in here, the more likely it recognizes your face. Of course, it's true, but the more you add, the more likely it will recognize everyone's face. If you add only a few photos, let's say 10 or 15 photos, then it will be fine. But still, I try my face and then I try, I ask my wife to test it as well and she can unlock my phone without her even taking photos in here as well. She doesn't have a photo in, in this, but she can unlock my phone with her face. And her sister also tried it and then also unlock my phone. It's really funny about this app, but if you want the Face ID feature to impress your friend or to show your friend that you can also use your face to unlock your Touch ID device without Face ID feature like iPhone 10, this is the way. But if you ask me if this method is secure, it's not. Okay, that's it guys. This is how you can get Face ID feature on older iOS devices running iOS 12 up to 12.2. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.